Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Another episode of my cancer story. Yeah. Another impromptu video. Um, so, as you can see, I got a different background here. <laughs> I like these backgrounds, they're kind of cool. Um, but um, three days ago, I had my second round of chemo. And um, this round has gone a lot smoother. Um, so leading up to it, though, leading up to my second round of chemo uh, on Thursday, which was three days ago, um, the effects of the first chemo round a couple weeks ago had my white blood count drop dramatically. Um, <clears throat> they mentioned to me that around the 10-day mark that usually people will have a, uh, a tank in their white blood count. I believe it's a neutrophils uh, specifically. Um, and that's exactly what happened for me. I had to actually get, um, well, actually the reason we even came across this situation is because I was having, uh, like a low grade fever, like a nine between 99.5 and like a hundred point two. And, um, my throat was hurting the base of my throat, not in the, my mouth, like, but just below my throat is like there was a burning sensation and it kind of hurt to swallow and eating certain foods hot cold were sensitive you know were sensitive to it so um i was uh, i went in to see if it was like mucositis because that's a side effect of the chemo as well um to get those mouth sores and whatnot so um they tested me while i was there um, they did some labs and they saw that my white blood count had dropped and um, we needed to get it back up before the next round of chemo. So they actually gave me a Granix shot, which is specific to boost the white blood count um, in my blood, obviously. So I did that um, the day I went in and got checked and then they wanted me to come in the next day and get a shot as well. Um, so I did that and then uh, went in. Uh, on chemo day, which is Thursday and my white blood count did go back up. I think the lowest it was at was 0.26, which was pretty low, pretty low. And <clears throat> with the low grade fever I had at the time and that white blood count, um, you know, that's kind of stressful and concerning. So, um, obviously your white blood count and the lower it is, you're more susceptible to infection. So, that was pretty important to get that back up before the next round of chemo. So they gave me two granite shots and then on chemo day, it came back up to 0.99. They do like to see it up to like 1.5, but <clears throat> my oncologist said just to go ahead and go with the round of chemo because it does take, it's delayed reaction. Uh, it does take up to 10 days for it to drop and um, drop your white blood count. So they put me on a different um, booster uh, it's called, oh shoot, what was it? New Lasta? I think it's New Lasta? I think. Anyway, it's one of those things um, that uh, sticks to your body and kind of injects you. It's one of those things that, um, well, how it works is I had chemo on Thursday and they put the patch on and it injects like a little catheter in you and then it's set, it has a timer on it. And so it's set for like 27 hours. And so, um, and that's when they like to start that booster or that medication is 27 hours after the chemo is given. So, and I think that one's a better one because it's longer lasting. So um, hopefully this be between now and my next chemo round, my white blood cell count will be fine with that new Lasta um, sh shot patch thing. So that's what I did. Um, and then when, when it's done administering the, the uh, medication, the new last patch, I think it's like 40 or 45 minutes and then it beeps and then you can take it off. So that's kind of nice. Um, that way you don't have to keep going in and off and getting shots left and right. So um, that was kind of nice. So um, as you know, in my last video, the last round of chemo was pretty awful. Um, it was probably a lot to do with my bowel system as i mentioned before it was very very slow slow moving wasn't <laughs> nothing was happening 
So it was probably keeping all that medication in my body, which was making me sicker. And that's why I threw up a couple times last time. But this time I've got everything moving, um, eating the right foods to help promote uh, bowel movements and all that kind of stuff. Of course, it's not super fun to talk about, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, I think it's helped a lot. And uh, we did change um, anti nausea medicine as well. Um, so went in chemo on Thursday morning. Um, took about three hours to administer the ABVD and the, um, the pre-meds. And then went home. Um, you know, it's it, you you can tell you're getting the chemo. Like, although this round has been a lot better for me, I still know, and my stomach still knows that I'm getting the medication. It's just, it's. I wouldn't describe it as nauseating feeling. I would kind of more describe it as like indigestion or it kind of being mad i don't know I, I don't know how else to put it i've kind of described it to my family like yeah it just feels mad today but i still want to eat and all that kind of stuff even though my appetite's not great the last few days um it's st i still want to eat something so that's good and i've been on top of my anti nausea medicine and all that so throughout this whole thing and been taking a stool softener every day to kind of promote you know so um, <clears throat> so it's been okay. Um, other things. Oh yes. And, um, the whole reason I went into the office and got checked for, um, when my throat was bothering me, um, they thought that it might've been an upper, um, upper, uh, uh, I don't know if it's sinus infection or some sort of infection infection on the upper half of my body here. Um, but they gave me antibiotics and they also gave me Tamiflu just in case it could have been the flu, but I don't think it is the flu. I just never had the flu in a really, 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 really long time. Um, of course things change. It could, I could with all this, these things that are going on, but so, um, and with taking the, anim, uh, the medication, the, uh, antibiotic and stuff, it actually has helped my throat. So I've been eating a little bit more solid food rather than, you know, sticking to like, liquids or yogurt type of food that's easier to go down doesn't hurt my throat as much but <clears throat> um so i'm on that so um i worked the next day um luckily we've kind of chosen the day for chemo on a on thursdays every other thursday so if i feel bad the next day it's i'm only taking one day off but i was able to work the next day and then it's the weekend so and tomorrow is monday so i I'm going to be working tomorrow, which is great. Um, I think the last chemo round, I missed a couple days of work, but you have to do what you have to do. So um, any other changes? I haven't noticed anything. I don't know if my hair is thinning or not yet. I know that uh, <clears throat> right around this time that people start to notice that their hair is falling out um, or maybe thinning. I'm not sure. My hair could be thinning, but I haven't really noticed that much after getting out of the shower and stuff. But um, yeah, I noticed that my acne hasn't been as bad either. So I wonder if it was just like the, f the first round of chemo was just like my shock, <laughs> shock in my body and just like my body freaking out and just, oh, I'm going to pop up some zits here and there, but, um, not this round. I don't know. Seems to be all right. But, um, what else? What else? Oh, so to maintain or to kind of monitor the white blood cell count this coming week since it's kind of a new thing for me and it's obviously um they're gonna monitor my white blood count so i gotta go in tomorrow real quick to get a lab draw and then on wednesday two days later i gotta do another one so hopefully that new last uh i think that's what it's called i could be wrong that patch um is gonna help uh, with with my white blood count so Hopefully so. Um, been fortunate with my insurance company through work that I haven't really had any problems getting anything authorized or pre-authorized or approved. So been very, very fortunate that way. Um, so getting some of these drugs and trying different drugs and stuff hasn't really been an issue. And I'm I pray to the Lord for that. But um, so far, so good. The second round's been a little bit more promising. I'm going to stick to the same regimen, you, you, you know, mix in some regular foods because <laughs> if you you know you change your diet to completely uh, follow the nutritionist guidelines 
you're gonna get burnt out and i've kind of felt that a little bit in the last week or two um just with eating all of course you're eating good foods but it's not what you're used to eating um but it helps promote bowel movements and eating the right foods for you know your uh your uh metab not metabolism your immune system <clears throat> so that i mean that's definitely a good thing but um, at the same time, I've discovered that I'm just kind of, I'm kind of getting burnt out now. So I want like I'm starting to crave like the foods I normally would eat. <laughs> so I mixed in a burrito the other day for lunch and whatnot. So and I don't think that's that's not a bad thing. I think, you know, kind of keeping a balance of everything is key. Uh, and also getting out, getting out and doing stuff if you can. I went for a walk today and that, that kind of felt nice to go out and walk because I right now I've just been in chalk and just haven't really gone anywhere. Haven't really needed to other than the doctor's offices. Um, so I haven't really gone too many places with very many people. I think I went to my daughter's basketball, my last basketball game, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm just staying active and keeping that balance and make sure you're taking the medications and um Right now, there's not too many other changes to report, um, other than that this round went a lot better, a lot better. Um, yeah, I felt a little bit better today than I did yesterday and by and the day before, and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say at this point. I'm going to be making probably another video, uh, probably after the um, next round of chemo, which is in a couple of weeks. Um, and today is day three, uh, which was the worst day for me last round. I threw up on day three um, two weeks ago. So <clears throat> I will make another video here um, in the next couple of weeks. I don't foresee, I think the only other appointments that the oncologist wants to set up in the next probably month is maybe another PET scan. I think I mentioned that in one of my videos to see how it's regressed. Um, and maybe another pulmonary function test to test my lungs. I'm not sure because he may want to drop, since I have asthma, he may want to drop the B, uh, the B drug out of the ABVD because I think the B drug has the most um, effects on your lungs. So um, just as a precaution, if... If I'm doing okay, like it's it's progressing or regressing as it should, he may just drop the B drug out of the out of the repertoire. <laughs> so that would be good. That way we don't have to worry about you know lung issues, lung scarring, or whatever the case may be with the side effects on that. So, anyways, I know this has been a quick, a little bit quicker video, um, but I think that's what it needs to be: quick, quick, and to the point. I don't think um, I have anything much more to report. It's like I said, this round's been a lot better. So <clears throat> let's keep this going. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.